Hello resellers, it's Sarah Rosells bringing you another video. I thought I would go ahead and post this um, tonight so that way tomorrow I can focus on driving where we need to be and packing and getting up early. I got everything done on my list today and I have had one of the best sales days I have ever had. I think I can attribute that to only sending um, offers to likers on all of the, well, the three platforms that allow you to do that once a week. I used to, as soon as I saw someone like, oh, ooh, hurry up and send them an offer. And this week I waited until today. Is it today? Was it this morning I sent likers? I think, no, it was last night. I sent it last night um, on a, so that would have been, Oh my God, what is today? My days are blending together. I'm so tired. It's like 1030 my time and I still have to pack. Um, so that would have been Wednesday night because I expected to get accepted offers today on Thursday so that I could ship them all and leave town on Friday. Yes, that's right. So I sent offers to Likers on Wednesday. Thank you for bearing with me while my mom brain uh, catches itself back up again. My apologies. So, I think that really helped. Um, and then usually what I do is after I've sent offers to likers and they're all expired, I actually go back into my Poshmark closet and anything that had a like on it, I use the copy feature that Poshmark has and I relist it for the next week. If it doesn't, then I just hit like edit next list or I'll just share it and keep on sharing it. Um, but I, I've done that for two weeks in a row and today it really paid off. So you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, it's like, they just kept coming. I've already been to the post office. <laughs> I was going to go this morning. I forgot. I had two packages sitting in the car that we talked about this morning. I got home and I had more orders. I thought, Oh, let me sneak those in. I snuck those in. I came back home and here at 10 o'clock at night, I'm still getting orders and I'm making my husband go tomorrow cause I'm leaving early. <laughs> But I, I made 11 sales on all of my platforms that I list myself. And I made six thread up sales today. Paid out. It's like insane. So I just want to quickly go over the sales with you so you can see what sold and what my hubby will be shipping tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully he makes it. <laughs> um, so first I'll go over my eBay sales on eBay. I sold this Madewell wool flannel shirt dress in a size small. It sold for $35. I paid the shipping after fees. I made $18.91. On eBay, I sold this Urban Cocoa Women's Button Down Crew Neck Cropped Cardigan. Um, I got this for free from the friend that was cleaning out her closet. I sent an offer for $11.99 and after fees and shipping, I made $4.99 of pure profit. Then, uh, and there goes my phone ding a ling a ling again. Um, sorry about that. Gosh, I always have at least something. <laughs> I forgot to turn the do not disturb on. I'm sure you don't want to hear my phone dinging of all my notifications. Um, Third sale on eBay today, I sold this Maurice's plus size 24-7 pink and brown white floral stretch lace up top in a size 2XL. Someone made me an offer for $23. I accepted. After paying the shipping and all fees, I made $13.78. I may have even gotten that at the bins. I'm not sure. Um, then another, the fourth sale on eBay, this Victoria's Secret pink zip hoodie glitter logo size small. I got an offer for $25 on that. After fees and shipping, I made $14.74. Um, I think I did pay around $5.99 for that at the regular thrift. And then <clears throat> my fifth sale today on eBay was this Women's Altered State Snap Front Denim Top with a lace trim size medium. I received an offer for $24.99. I accepted. After fees and shipping, I made $15.07. Then moving over to Macari, I had three sales on there. Um, I sold that pair of Beta Brand dress yoga pants, um, a petite, I think they were a petite extra small. Someone made me an offer for 28, I accepted. I paid the shipping and after all fees, I made $17.14. 
If you recall, I just listed those two days ago. So definitely a Bolo brand. Um, then the late night sale on Macari was this Torrid plus size Pont Peplum Blazer. This was new with tags. Received an offer for $35. After fees and shipping, I made $19.93. This one I need help on, okay? Me and Macari are still learning. I got a late night offer for these Indigo Road brown booties, um, a pair of suede booties. Um, they accepted an offer I had sent out to Likers um, of $25. When I went to do pirate ship, the shoebox option was not available. So can you guys comment below and let me know how do, how do you ship shoes on Macari? Are you using their uh, system? Are you using UPS? Are, are you using pirate ship? And if so, how do I do the shoe box? Cause that wasn't an option on there. So unfortunately, cause I didn't know what I was doing. It's okay. I will learn. I only made $4 and 55 cents and I think I actually lost money cause on pirate ship. I had to do the medium flat rate box and it cost $13 and 60 cents. So somebody help me out on that one. Um, and then I had three sales on Poshmark. I sold um, this wax jean, jean jacket. It was distressed. It was plus size. I had sent an offer to Likers. They accepted $21 after fees. I made $12.79. I picked that up at a Goodwill and it was half off. So I think it was only $3. Then on Poshmark, I sold this J. Jill black velour front top. Sold for $16 after fees, which they had made me an offer. I made $12.80. I purchased that at the bins. And then I'll, the last sale on Poshmark, I sold this fat face vest made in the UK. It's a pink zip up puffer size eight. It was super heavy duty. Um, someone accepted an offer I had sent for $28. So I just went ahead and did 30% off people. Make it worth their while once a week. If you like one of my listings, you're going to get a 30% off with a shipping discount. Um, so they uh, they accepted the offer for $28 and after fees, I made $20.28. I paid $7 for that at the re regular thrift store. It was on a new rack coming out. And now we have the six thread up sales. I sold this altered state sleeveless blouse. I had a payout of $11.14. I found that at the bins. I sold this Nike zip up hoodie. I had a payout of $12. I think somebody actually gave me that for free when I did like the porch pickup during quarantine. I sold these pair of Lane Bryant casual pants. I had a payout of $8. I picked those up at the bins. I sold this Eddie Bauer, like a plaid button up shirt for a payout of $10. I found that at the bins. So like paying I think it's $1.39 a pound. There's no way that that shirt's a pound. So I'm sure I paid like 50 cents and I made 10 bucks. I'll take that. Um, that next I sold this BCBG t-shirt. I picked that up at the local consignment shop. There was like buy one, get one half off. I think I only paid a couple bucks for it. And I got a payout of $12. And then lastly, I sold this Ann Taylor Loft um, short sleeve t-shirt. And I had a payout of $1.92. So I couldn't be happier with that. I mean, 11 sales on all of my other platforms using this perfectly and six payouts on thread up today. I have been one busy mama. We did do trick or treat tonight. I had soup done, laundry's done, everything set up. So they'll survive the weekend without mommy. So, excuse me. Thank you for hanging in there. I hope you enjoy this video along with all of my other content. Maybe you'll see me again from Tennessee. It won't be reseller content, but I'm excited to go. We're going right outside of Gatlinburg, and I haven't been there before, so I'm kind of checking it out. It may be a possible family vacation later on because it's only about five or six hours from us um, from Ohio. So stay tuned. Thank you again for watching. Again, it's Sarah Rosells on YouTube and on Instagram. And I will see you guys again soon. Everybody have a great weekend and please save those offers to likers for once a week. It is really, really working. Thanks guys. Have a good night.